Mexico's military have captured one of the country's most notorious drug lords. Rafael Caro Quintero was behind the torture and murder of a U.S. drug enforcement agent back in 1985. Nowhere left to hide for one of the FBI's most wanted drug lords. Not even the mountains of his native Sinaloa state in Mexico. Rafael Caro Quintero, once the U.S.'s primary supplier of heroin, cocaine and marijuana, finally caught. He's accused of killing DEA agent Enrique Camarena, nicknamed Kiki, an American officer whose tortured body was found a month after he went missing in 1985. Quintero had begun serving a 40-year sentence for the killing, but in 2013, an appeals court overturned the verdict. And by the time his guilt was confirmed by the Supreme Court, he'd already been whisked away in a waiting car. The former leader of the infamous Guadalajara cartel went back to a life of drug trafficking, unleashing bloody turf battles in the northern Sinaloa state. The strategy of the DEA and the Mexican security forces has to be take, to, to, to take off these very senior people in the cartels. But when they, when they do, it sort of creates a job opening at the top. It doesn't actually change any of the structural problems, which mean that cartels and organized crime are able to flourish. Quintero's re-arrest comes just days after Mexico's president met his American counterpart, claiming progress on tackling illicit narcotics in what has long been a tense matter between the two countries. So proud of its achievement, the Mexican Navy even released a photo of the search dog that found Quintero. But the capture came with losses. 14 people died in a helicopter crash during the operation. The Navy called it an accident. Caro Quintero, believed to be in his 60s, is being held at a maximum security prison near Mexico City as he awaits his immediate extradition to the US. Sadia Chowdhury, Sky News.